Hi, my name is Noon, I'm 17 and I'm black. I moved from Sudan, a predominantly black country in Africa, four years ago. Racism has instilled itself so deep into the fabric of our society that almost every modern culture in the world has anti-black aspects. This proves true to me because even though during my time in Sudan I never had to worry about what it felt like to be a minority, I was still conditioned to hate myself and to want to change every Afrocentric feature about myself. In this world, I know that no matter what, there are people out there that hate me that don't even know I exist. This is a fact that I've always known. This is a fact that I'll have to continue to live with. We're here today to not only stand against police brutality against black people in America and the UK, but also to show solidarity for black people around the world. To say that enough is enough. This racism drilled so deep into our minds that we aren't even aware of its presence is no longer going to win. Black Lives Matter means so much to so many people. To me, it finally brings light to the anti-blackness still prevalent in the world today. It brings light to the injustice that black people have to face, both in America and globally. It brings light to the system meant to keep us in check, the system that allowed those police officers to get away with murder. My name is Noon, I'm 17, and I'm black. It always feels like no one's listening. Listen to me now. My name is Noon, it's 2003, and I haven't been born yet. People that look like me are facing the unimaginable. There is a system in place made to break me down until I don't want to be black anymore. My name is Noon, I'm five and I'm black. I'm in England. The teacher starts talking about how we should all be more grateful because people in Africa are starving. I start crying believing that my family in Sudan is starving and the teacher tries to get me to stop. She says, no, it's not your family. I don't know this yet, but people are only willing to think about the issues of black people when it benefits the point that they're trying to make. Only a few people really care. I know I'm different from everyone else in my class. My name is Noon, I'm six and I'm black. I'm called to the office because they want to know how to spell my older sister's name. A girl in my class told her that she didn't want a piggyback ride from her because her skin was made of poo and now she's being made to write an apology letter to her. At the time it's entertainment and I laugh. I know exactly what she meant, but I still laugh. A few years later, I'm not laughing anymore. My name is Noon, I'm seven and I'm black. I'm in Sudan now, everyone looks like me. My uncle asks us if we're jealous of our cousin because her skin is lighter than ours. My cousin was six months old at the time. It doesn't make sense at first, but slowly it begins to. I don't know this yet, but this is where I begin to hate myself. My name is Noon, I'm eight and I'm black. I refuse to admit to the fact that I'm Sudanese. I say, by the law, I'm Irish because of my passport. It's disgusting to me for some reason to admit to my heritage. For some reason, it's better to admit to be European than it is to be African. You know the reason. My name is Noon, I'm nine and I'm black. There's a girl in my year who's white. Everybody loves her, everybody wants to be her friend, all the boys are simping over her. She says to me, if you're Irish, then why is your hair like that? In my mind, I know that all the boys like her more than me and the other girls because she's white. But also in my mind, that makes complete sense. My name is Noon, I'm 10 and I'm black. My grandma relaxes my hair for the first time as a gift for my birthday. She says it looks a lot better now. She doesn't relax my sisters, it's not as curly. I'm happy to no longer have ugly, curly hair. I get many compliments. I don't know this yet, but I'm going to regret this a lot when I'm older. I relaxed my hair for the next three years. There was nothing ever wrong with my hair. My name is Noon, I'm 11 and I'm black. I'm becoming much more aware of racism. I'm becoming much more aware of what the real world is like. And I'm 11, I'm 11. But for some reason, I still relax my hair and a part of me still wants to be white. I completely cut off anything that is stereotypically black. I think I'm better than my classmates because I don't listen to rap. My teacher who is white says that he is sick of people blaming the issues on Africa on white people. I'm angry, but I can't find the words to express why. I know why now. My name is Noon, I'm 12 and I'm black. There is something in my head pitting me against the teachers in my school who are not white or don't speak like English as their first language. In my school, your value as a teacher was determined by your heritage or your accent. We have a science teacher who's Sudanese and has a heavy accent. As a class, we complain. My mother goes through the notes from the class and tells me they all make sense. It starts to make sense to me now why I thought he was a bad teacher. There's something about the way I measured his intelligence by how proper of an accent he had that made me feel guilty. And still guilty. My name is Noon, I'm 13 and I'm black. 
I know all these things about racism now. I know all these things about what's right and wrong. I'm opinionated, I know my morals, and I'm 13. All the boys in my year like white girls. They send pictures of them into our year group chat. And even though I say racism is bad, I'm glad to be black, a part of me still wishes I was white. In my mind, I will never have to deal with anything more than the hatred I have for myself. I live in Sudan and everyone looks like me. The end of that summer, I moved to Ireland. I spent hours upon hours looking up black people in Ireland, racism in Ireland, Islamophobia in Ireland. Have you ever had to look that up? My name is Noon, I'm still 13, and I'm still black. I'm in Ireland now. There are two other black girls in my year. On the first day of school, someone asked me if I'm cousins with one of them. I had never met them before in my life. People are impressed that me from Africa is so well-spoken, so educated, so literate. People say, wow, she's so pretty, and for some reason it's a shock. I had spent my entire life up to this point wishing that I was white, and now I'm being praised for the very features that I was taught to hate. I know my ideals and they're set in stone. I will not let anyone disrespect me, and I will not let anyone use the n-word. We read of mice and men in class. Everyone says the n-word. My name is Noon, I'm 14, and I'm black. People, my friends even, have said the n-word to me, and I've had to let it slide. I want to conform. I want to not make people uncomfortable with my discomfort. I say, don't say that, quietly. I let my white friends defend me because it's easier when they do it than when I do. I'm reminded every day by myself that I'm different. All my rage and bitterness are kept within myself. Maybe it's because I was never particularly used to being a minority. I go to my history class. They skip over slavery. It's not in the curriculum. I say, what the fuck? My name is Noon, I'm 15 and I'm black. I go to the cinema with my sister to watch the new Black Panther movie. A group of white teenagers sit next to us. We hear them ridicule the accents of the characters. We hear them call them the N-word. We hear them mock their accents and plaster it all over their social media. But there's no racism in Ireland. They ask us where we're from. We say Sudan. They laugh. The summer of this year, a group of girls do blackface in Wexford. A group of girls do blackface in Wexford. It's almost so ridiculous that I have to laugh. All the black people I know are outraged. In silence. Do you know how hard it is to stand up to something as a minority with the potential backlash you'll get from literally everybody? I'm reminded once again that if I was to ever bring up racial issues, I would not only risk upsetting people, but losing my friends. I'm in a constant battle in my head from being true to my ideals or cultivating meaningful friendships. I forgive and forgive and forgive. I forsake everything I've ever believed. It's more acceptable for my friends to be outraged by racism than it is for me. I know the reason. I don't say why. My name is Noon, I'm 16, and I'm black. I've heard the N-word so many times that I'm no longer even surprised when I hear people say it. There's a certain exhaustion that comes with every reaction I have to yet another person here being racist. I've heard all the jokes. I'm not laughing. I don't want to do it anymore. I find solace in the other people in Wexford, but it's not enough. I'm tired of explaining things to people over and over and over again. I used to say they don't know any better, but there's a point when people just don't want to know any better. My school wants to present me as a diversity statistic. They want me to present my culture at the Culture Day Fair so they can show on the newspaper just how beautifully diverse this school is. I'm reminded of every single time I've heard the N-word being sung in the halls by girls singing their favorite songs. I'm reminded of the month of English class where everybody was saying the N-word where I saw it written on the board on the walls. I'm reminded of the teacher that has defended blackface. I'm reminded of having to repeat myself over and over again to people that I've already explained things to. I'm reminded of how exhausted I am. I'm reminded of the silence that always comes with my anger. I do the culture day fair. I put on a smile. A teacher comes up to me and says, wow, and they told me you weren't doing it. People only ever want to acknowledge and talk about our differences when it benefits them, when it's easy to accept. My name is Noon. I'm 17 and I'm black. I hear about racist attacks everywhere, including Ireland. I think about the way that my mother told me that when she worked here 20 years ago as a doctor, people refused to be treated by her. I think of the way I've seen people look down on my father when he speaks to them in an accent that isn't as prim and proper, despite the fact that he's a respected doctor. I've been absorbing racist videos, racist comments, racist people, racist stereotypes, and racism for the past 17 years. Racism is a system. It is not just an individual comment made to a person of color. It is something that we have been forced to grow up with. It is stereotyped so deeply ingrained into people's minds that they can't even begin to think about why they are wrong. 
It is self-hatred. It is being unable to find any representation of yourself in modern media. It is clinging onto any representation of yourself you find. It is being seen as a thug, as uneducated, as aggressive. It is being less likely to get a job. It is being seen as only a statistic. It is the sinking feeling you get when you realize that someone is about to say something insensitive and you are going to have to choose between having friends and having morals. My name is Noon and I'm 17 and I will not censor myself. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black people are being murdered on the street. Black people are being taught to hate themselves from since they are children. Black people are being told every terrible thing that has ever happened to them throughout history and then being told to get over it. Black people are being told that they are overreacting to 400 years worth of slavery. Black children are hated before they even have the chance to live. This is about George Floyd. This is about Philando Castile, Eric Garner, Sandra Bland, Tatiana Jefferson, David McAtee, Trayvon Martin. This is about Breonna Taylor. This is about all of them. This is about the black people that are here and the black people that aren't here. This is about dismantling this culture that has allowed us to suffer in silence. This is about getting rid of this constant denial that race doesn't apply anymore. This is about the unjust racism that has been happening to us for centuries of being swept under the rug because it's in the past. If it's in the past, what are all these dead bodies? Who are all these people begging for reform? You can say Ireland doesn't have that much racism. That much is still some. That much is still contributing to the rest of the world, and this denial is what is killing us. And I'm tired, but I am black, and I am proud, and I will advocate for every black person in the world just as I know they would for me. Just as I know they are for me. Black lives matter. People can inhale black music, absorb black culture, idolize black artists, say that they're not racist even though they use the n-word and refuse to listen to any black person that tells them otherwise, but they can't fight for black people, they don't have that decency? Funny. If you are silent during times of oppression, then you have taken the side of the oppressor. My name is Noon. I'm 17. And I'm black. Does my life matter?